There was a leak suggesting that D2R might get a pretty serious update. This was from a moderator of Diablo's Finest, one who's usually pretty careful about what he puts out there, and it suggests that D2R devs might be thinking about balancing some rune words, and they might also do a unique item overhaul in a future patch. The latter has been requested by players for years. The source is allegedly an off-the-cuff comment made by the devs during a recent interview with Riker. For some time, the clip was available online. However, I'm unable to find it or confirm its existence now. But considering the source, there's a non-zero chance that the Blizz devs are considering updating D2R with some much needed balance changes. I mean no offense when I say this, but with the last few introductions of rune words into this game, it's clear that the devs are listening to feedback from the wrong people. Many of the new additions to the game went unused by practically anyone. They weren't all bad, in fact I'm on the mosaic good team. But that being said, my opinion alone shouldn't matter. Thanks to some inspiration by Sagacious D2R, a number of us got together a few years ago and started proposing some overhauls to underused unique items. And it just so happens that I have a document articulating just that. And of all times to bring it up, uh, you know, when the devs are thinking about overhauling the unique items, uh, it might be the time. Let's start right off with a bonus idea that we just sort of casually bounced around. While I tell you about it, I'll also tell you about G2A. There are a number of pre-patch items that exist in D2 history. These are basically the equivalent of legacy items in D4. They're an older version of a now updated item. And while some of these items were considered to be overpowered at the time, none of them would hold a candle to the items that exist nowadays. What's also overpowered are the discounts you can get on G2A. G2A is known for selling nearly all gaming titles for less. It's run by sellers, so make sure to look for the most reputable ones. And then profit off from their stupidly low prices. Speaking of stupidly low, I think there should be a stupidly low chance that any item that has ever been updated could potentially roll as their pre-patch version. Maybe like one in a thousand Valks is an 08 Valk. Rare enough to be valuable, but to hopefully fight against market manipulation. And speaking of which, for some strange reason, G2A is doing something called the weekly sale right now, allowing you to knock an additional 12% off the already heavily discounted items from competitive sellers. I don't know how they're making any money off this. All you have to do is enter this code on checkout. I think a change like this could preserve the nostalgia of the original game and also provide an all new holy grail chase for players, which might keep them busy for quite a while. None of these items are game breaking today, and some of them are even worse. However, we should include them all, because these items are a piece of the game's history, and most of all, it would be an incredible easter egg and nod to how far this franchise has come. Check out G2A with my link below. It'll send you directly to the discounts and save you a few steps. Just make sure not to steal everything you see on this website. Save some for me. While we never finished the project, we could agree on certain things for items like this. We pretty much all agreed that Tyrael's might needs teleport, but we've talked about this before in various other videos. So let's get into the good stuff. And while some of you might be completely opposed to change, just remember that this game has already changed a lot. At one point, we didn't even have mana potions at vendors. We didn't have skill synergies. We didn't have tokens. We didn't even have rune words like this at one point. In a game that was completely dominated by the sorceress, Enigma came along and made so many other characters playable. The point is, we shouldn't be afraid to do things like this. It's time to give these ghost glaives the stats and O skills necessary to synergize with other classes. Instead of low-level band-aids, we need low-level beauties. This is not only a fun and powerful change, but it fits into the lore of Blink Bats from Diablo 1. Genius, you say? That one was from Sagacious. I wish I could explain the level of thought that went into these, but all these bros have moved on to other things. You never know when the last time for anything is gonna be. With the complete lack of updates in the last few patches, players began to wonder if we'd seen the last real change to D2R. But think about the players that are still grinding on the original version of Diablo 2 LOD. There will come a day when those servers are shut down and those players log on for the last time. When that day comes, we say goodbye to 08 items, bugged items, hybrids, and more. But it's crazy to think that some of the most memorable items in that game were created by players.
And now, we as players have come together to offer legitimate changes. Ones that not only have respect for the lore and feel of the game, but ones that open doors. These changes gently build on items that currently just aren't quite there. While some of these may never be best in slot, they're at least a little better. And while some of them might indeed become great, who's to say that's a bad thing? With all of the off-the-wall, off-meta builds that Diablo 2 players have created over the years, just think how many more could be created with these. Years ago, when Sagacious, BT, Dark Humility, and myself put these ideas together, we never thought they'd fall on anything but deaf ears. And who knows, maybe that's true. That being said, the devs still shouldn't just listen to us. Make sure to put your thoughts on these items below, because if this video gets 2,000 likes, which is a long shot for this channel, I will share it with Blizzard myself. And as a Diablo partner, they have to listen, I think. And if this video already has 2,000 likes, your move, Blizzard. If this rumor is true, no more guesswork. Add these ideas, but listen to the feedback below. Let's get it right before it's the last time.